So 10 years ago, uh, the first time I got my hands in the world of internet, I was amazed by the unlimited possibilities the internet can do. And I immediately devote myself into the world of website building, and hoping that you know, one day I can share everything I've got to the, to the world, to the internet. And when I woke up every morning, I would always look forward to this email. So hello world means, we all know what hello world means. I would jump up my bed and go to my computer and check the email uh, because someone just responded to a blog post that I did a couple of days ago. I will reply it, read it, and leave a discussion note on it. And I start off my day with this wonderful feeling of be finally being connected with someone uh, in, a in somewhere. For the past couple of years, I woke up, turn up my phone, and I see what's going on with my digital life again. And this is what I got. Well, expected, likes. Well, funny faces, we all see that. And I don't even know what that is. <laughs> and then I start to have this weird, really strange, weird nightmare. Sometimes, a couple times uh, a night. Uh, it's hard to describe, but this is w w what I dreamed about. <laughs> No words, no, no exchange, no communications. Everyone just like, they all look the same. Uh, yeah, I, w I was frustrated. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure um, many of you might like those reaction, fa those so-called emoji faces. And apparently people do love them. They're cute. But today I'm here to talk about uh, the good old days. When I first got on the internet, my buddy and I would, my good friends and I would spend hours and hours of days to put our thoughts in, to, di to do document our daily lives, to write meaningful conversations on various uh, platforms, forums, channels. We check each other's blog at night and leave funny comments. Um, s sometimes thoughtful insights and even gossips. Even though we didn't have much fancy technologies and features as we do have today, w we were happy. We, we, we got everything we needed for. And everyone was so proud of our own digital space. We, we spent hours working on it, tweaking the looks, having some sparklings on the menus, and decide what to put on our front page, what columns to go to the left, and what columns to the right. And we truly are happy because we have the power to consume what we want. To, we have the power to let the world to see what we want to share. And things sure are different today. We entered a new age of so-called uh, social media. And uh, everything starts to go to this centralized platforms to get connected with very little uh, efforts. Sharing and consuming information has never become this easy. And we checking our social medias or simply being online has become a habit, addiction. We want to know what's going on around us all the time, right now. We want to know what our friends are doing, we want to know uh, what they're thinking, how they're feeling, and we want to know how many likes or hearts we got from the last selfie we posted last night. Sharing and posting are so easy that we just take everything for granted. We think, we all discuss that social media is the next big thing. It is the ultimate tool to start a movement, to form a group, to have your own business, even watch cat videos. But meanwhile, a lot of us also realize downside of social media. The year of 2018 has taught us a big lesson on how much damage social media can do. It's no secret that by using platform service for free means our willingness to share our public information, our habits, our viewing habits, our interests, our behaviors with companies and interest groups. And we found out that these companies are, are using these informations against us to tailor, our, to tailor our information consumption and even influence the way we think, we start to panic. 
we don't know what's important to us. We don't know what's, to, what's real and what's true. And most importantly, how do we believe? What do we believe? And then these online frustrations and uh, paranoia then transfer to our daily lives, causing real destructions, dividing the communities and splitting the nation. I was trying hard to leave today's social me all the social media platforms one by one for the past couple of years because I was tired of people sharing their own opinion, people expressing their own thoughts, not by tapping them down, but simply clicking the share button on articles that are written by others or sometimes interest groups. I got frustrated when the owner of my favorite restaurants told me that people stopped coming simply because a, a couple elite reviewer from the popular platforms said some bad experience on it. And I couldn't believe that a one star and three lines comments can destroy a family business, a local business. I was scared that every day when I check my timeline, my friends talk at, at each other, not talk to each other. We start to throw bits of fragmented, incoherent information here and there with so little care that but we never have the intention to actually engage in a subject matter. Our sharing and connecting experience has become more like a one-way delivery rather than a two-way exchange. We're like sitting ducks under the sun, receiving and consuming information that we never ask for. We're like the dummies in the showroom, constantly changing our clothing, but never ask where they come from, how they made, and whether they fit us or not. We forgot how to engage in people online, even and even in real life. We stop digging and use our own judgments on things we see because when, inf when information comes to us this fast and easy, all we ask or, and all we think is, okay, what's next? We spend too much time scrolling rather than texting. And then for the past four years, uh, I devote most of my free time building a team that will literally went head to head to those social media type giants. Um, the, we, we have one goal, to, to save people from today's social media platforms and literally build a utopian uh, world of everyone starts to have their own web, everyone starts to have their own digital space again like 10 years ago. Yet things sure have changed. Again, technology and internet is evolving so fast, not only allows us to do more things, but it also becomes more affordable and easy to acquire. Building a website used to be a geeky and complicated and lengthy process, yet not anymore. Everyone can build websites right now. You can have a website up within five minutes from nothing. And there are thousands, thousands, thousands of open source free softwares, systems, ready to use any minute. And taking our case, by building a, our own network, social network site, that only allows users to share their own original content, even though there are only 15 people on it. Uh, I realized that by doing, by doing so, it triples everyone's reading times and attention span. I see people visiting our site less often, but spend more time in each logging session. By building our own listing website, I realize all we need to decide what to eat tonight or where to have fun tomorrow, honestly, will just be a name, a couple photos, two lines of introduction, and an address, and leave everything else to, 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 to adventure, to explore. And through this process, we get to talk to the business owners and to, to understand their passion and what they want to share with the consumers. And by, sh by checking out my friend's blog posts, I realized the looks, the texts, the formats, the content together not only get the message delivered, but also makes, more pe makes people more engaged because they know the creator care about them. 
although all those projects, I never know how long they will last. Uh, they all seems like have really poor business models. We, we never run ads. But my goal is not to make a single buck out of all of, all of them. I think we, we all should start build our own digital platform or digital space just to explore what we really want and how do we really engage in today's digital world. Through building our own digital empire, we can finally regain the power on things that we want to consume and why we consume it. Uh, but knowing what we want to consume and why we consume it, we finally can gain trust at each other, both online and offline. It may sound really utopian that I hope one day our generation or our next generation, rather than adding us on the next Facebook, but starting to ask us again, what's your website address? Thank you. <laughs>